Hello, my name is Tail King. I'm the CEO of One Energy Island. It's a great pleasure to share with you the experience of Smart Grid of Korea. I've been working as a consultant designing renewable energy systems in overseas, including countries in Latin America and Caribbean. Those experiences allowed me to know the need and conditions for energy system transition in diverse energy environments. The purpose of this presentation is to provide practical insights for countries in Latin America and Caribbean from the experience of the smart grid in South Korea. South Korea is known to the world as a successful economic growth model. Reliable and affordable energy supply was a key factor that contributed to the success of South Korea. However, the global climate change and the recent coronavirus crisis calls for change in energy infrastructure. The Korean government initiated energy infrastructure transitions with the vision of building the nationwide smart grid by 2030. Under the vision, policies focused on new energy technologies in convergence with ICT. The eventual goal of the initiative was to identify a new growth engine in the fourth industrial revolution. This presentation will review the history of the smart grid in South Korea, analyze the effectiveness of smart grid policy, and discuss opportunities for applying the smart grid technologies to Latin America and the Caribbean region. This presentation consists of Introduction, Smart Grid Experience of South Korea, Case Study and Implication and Recommendation for Latin American Countries. Let's start by explaining the concept of the smart grid. Smart grid can be defined as energy flow on the power grid. Compared to the conventional grid, the smart grid can offer various advantages. Before going into the details of the smart grid experiences, let's begin with the overall energy environment of Korea. Korea is known to the world as a successful economic growth model, which was partly made possible thanks to reliable and affordable energy supply for the energy-intensive industries of Korea. Smart Grid is also a response to the global climate change. Korea adopted the Smart Grid in response to climate change and the coming fourth industrial revolution by enhancing the efficiency of the overall energy system. Korea launched the Electric Power IT Task Force in 2005, which eventually led to Smart Grid National Roadmap in 2009. Korea's policies focused on development of smart grid technologies and applications, and also identifying and growing new business models and ventures in the energy market. As a result, the share of the renewable energy in Korea's power supply increased from 1% in 2009 to 8.8% .8 in 2018. Also, the government introduced a market-based demand response program and secured 4.3 gigawatts of demand-side energy sources. Korea replaced the conventional thermal power plant for the frequency regulation purpose with 500 megawatt-hour energy storage system. In addition, the government funded more than 20 renewable energy microgrid systems, both in remote islands and urban communities. But there is more to be done for fostering the growth of new businesses. Low electricity tariffs and the monopolistic structure of the energy market have become obstacles for new players in the energy market. Let's take a look at a case study. The case project is Casa Island Microgrid. Casa is a small island located off the southwest coast of the Korean Peninsula. In 2014, Korea Electric Power Corporation, KEPCO, constructed a renewable energy-based microgrid 
The project budget was about 7.67 million US dollars. The purpose of the project was to experiment with a standalone renewable energy microgrid. Casa Island's microgrid is unique because it adopts an ESS, energy storage system, as the base energy source. Compared to a conventional thermal power generator, the advantage of an ESS is its fast response functionality. ESS can respond to any instantaneous event in the power system. Fast responsiveness of ESS is made possible by EMS, Energy Management System. EMS monitors the flows of digitalized information on the power grid and sends operation directions to components for real-time optimization of the power system. During the first three years of operation, the renewable energies and ESS saved up to 80% of diesel fuel consumption while supplying the electricity without any interruption. But ESS is costly, and Casa Island's microgrid is still yet to justify the investment costs. The payback period measured by savings of diesel fuel was longer than 30 years. Fortunately, the price of ESS has been falling sharply in the international market, as know-how for efficient operation is being constantly accumulated. Latin America and the Caribbean region hosts a dynamic renewable energy market with abundant renewable energy resources. Governments are introducing policies to promote deployment of renewable energies and transforming the energy industry. The energy environment is maturing for smart grid development. Most of the existing power grids in Latin America were designed for conventional energy sources. Introducing intermittent renewable energy may cause problems for the reliability of the power grid in the short run. The grid operators in Latin America will need to control the volatile energy flows of renewable energy sources. Korea's experience can serve as a reference point for increasing renewable energy. The Market-Based Demand Response Program and ESS application for frequency regulation in South Korea can be emulated in the design and construction of a flexible power grid. Economic efficiency and technical stability takes time, which remains to be a challenge for new technologies and new businesses. This is why initial government intervention is necessary. Korea's policy experience could be a useful reference for countries in Latin America in designing their own policies for the energy industry reform. Thank you for listening to the presentation. I hope you find the presentation useful. The smart grid development in South Korea is at the halfway point. For the last 10 years, the government took active roles as the initiator at the early stage of smart grid development to fund R&D activities and testbed projects. For the next 10 years, the mission of the smart grid in Korea is to complete the fully developed nationwide smart grid infrastructure and to create new business models and ventures. The smart grid experience of Korea demonstrated both achievements and opportunities to improve. In the technical aspect, South Korea had developed significant advances in smart grid infrastructure. In the business aspect, however, Korea needs to go further to decentralize the energy market if the country wanted to see prospering businesses from its smart grid infrastructure. Latin America and Caribbean face different energy circumstances. Therefore, the presented experience may offer different insight. However, I hope this presentation is timely and practical to you as countries in Latin America and Caribbean face urgent need for sustainable energy infrastructure in the future. Thank you so much.